the beleaguered presenters Holly and Phil to reunite, and a new fury over at her own channel that allegedly is now welcoming her back, but this time for far more than even she could have anticipated. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. And as ever, lovely to have your company today. It's a funny old game, isn't it, television, you know, because a lot of executives, and I can say this as someone who works in that particular uh, arena, they don't understand the landscape. You know, they still believe that a person goes to commission a programme and then they hope you, the great viewing public around the world, will just embrace it. And it's a strange thing, isn't it? Because when you look back at the great days of, I don't know, super producers like Aaron Spelling, you know, who gave us Beverly Hills 902, 210 Melrose Place Dynasty. He knew the magic formula, but even he, I think, in today's streaming world may struggle. That's now the bigger problem over here for ITV, the beleaguered channel that has had one problem after another, over particularly on their daytime TV show this morning. Their TV chef, Gino De Campo, seemingly never out the headlines for all the wrong business dealings reasons. Look him up, seemingly, he's kind of fun on camera but not fun to work with, shall we say. And more importantly as ever, allegedly, not a brilliant businessman. He can cook things, but he can't seemingly cook the books. You get the picture. And also we've got fallouts, allegedly, with Alison Hammond and Dermot O'Leary, even though they claim they're now the best of chums. But the bigger problem really is rising over an ITV for simply this. Apparently, according to reports, Holly Willoughby will be returning in September with a juicy 700,000k a year to carry on fronting said this morning show. Really resonates with the audience, you know. When you think about it, a lot of people who have to sit through this morning, and there are some that enjoy it, I know, but most of the people, it's not necessarily through choice, it's background fodder, it's like magazine stuff. And a lot of the features do not relate to the people's budgets who are watching it, and I mean that kindly. We've all been there and you kind of think, who has that in the cupboard? I've got a tin of spaghetti hoops and half a used brown loaf. You know what I'm talking about. But they believe that only Holly can save the show. But there's a bigger picture brewing, you see, because over in Spain, it looks like Holly and Phil could be secretly reuniting. They have properties next door to each other, let me explain. And they basically used to holiday together during the summer. According to a very good source, Phil Schofield has decided that he wants to retreat there for the summer as well. Problem is, Holly's next door. However, according to a very good source, he hopes that they can finally iron out their problems and, you know, reconnect, remain friends. Nothing wrong with that. But if you looked at the bigger picture and perhaps wondered exactly how this all escalated, one might suggest that Holly was possibly not the best of friends at all. I'll park that one there. But it remains to be seen if this morning can climb back. It's a lot of money that they're staking on this directly from advertisers on one person. Apparently she's going to have a revolving door of male presenters, very similar to the one that they do with Good Morning Britain and Susanna Reid. That hasn't worked. People are tuning off in droves because of that. So why do they think it will work on this morning? As ever, they will know that she allegedly is worth 700,000 plus a year for four days a week. Not bad work, if you can get it. Sure, for all of those people dialing in for advice on that cost of living crisis, I'm very sure that Holly, indeed, will find it very relatable. <laughs> Neil Sean in the very heart of London.